Hey everyone, this is Linda from Muse. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the very basics of Muse so that you can start thinking together with your team. So I'm going to cover three areas, adding, moving, and organizing content in Muse. Let's start with adding. I'm in a completely blank board here, and I'm going to start by adding another board, which you can do using this icon in the toolbar or the keyboard shortcut B. And I'll give it a title by hitting enter and then zoom into it. Now you'll see some other icons here at the top. These are some of the media types that you can add in Muse. So there's notes, photos, files like PDFs, and you can also add links and tweets by copy and pasting them. And of course, there's text. You can double click anywhere on a canvas to add a text block and you can reorder them by clicking and dragging, which is super helpful for writing drafts like a blog post. You can drag and move a single text block or move the entire text group by holding shift. In Muse, you can let your writing expand spatially in any direction you like. So continuing with the moving theme, let's talk about moving things around in Muse. Moving everything else is pretty easy, and as you'd expect, you can select items like so, or hold command to select specific items and then move them freely. And of course, you can command A to select and move everything. Now, what about moving things out of a board or moving them into another board? Well, here is where your inbox comes into play. Let's say I want to move these two items out of this board. I can pull them into the inbox, which appears on the left side of the window here, and then I'll navigate to where I want them to go and then pull them out and drop them on the canvas. Your inbox appears on the screen whenever you try moving something. And by now you've seen me zoom in and out of this board a couple of times. So the last thing I want to introduce you to are nested boards and how you can use them to organize your content. Nested boards are kind of like folders. I can create a board in this board and then create another one in here and so on. Here's a research board from our team's workspace. It's a great example of free from thinking, but it could do with some organizing. So for example, these excerpts and notes belong to this PDF here. So I'm going to move them into a new board. And then maybe I'll make another board for these items here. You can easily move a selection of content into a new board with command shift B or the move to new board option in the menu. If you're wondering what excerpts are, here's a quick tip for you. You can select a section in a PDF and make an excerpt of it by dragging the selection to the inbox. So you can nest boards as deep as you like, and hopefully you'll come up with an organizational structure that makes sense to yourself and your team. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave us questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy musing.